All right, back for another round of authentication, this time using Google, right? Uh, so you might wonder here, first of all, like why, right? Why are we doing this, right? We basically, we, we have authentication, it's done. We can create uh, users with email passwords and they each have access only to their own stuff, right? Why do we care, all right? And you know, this is a, a yet another, it's a third party authentication. Why do we have to go go through this this um, this route, okay? And really a few different reasons here, and, and this is probably pretty obvious to, to you. Number one, okay, so you probably know your Google password, right? And there's, you know, the fewer passwords you have to remember, probably the better, because then you don't mind uh, making them actually, uh, you know, a little bit more complicated. Um, it's it's authentication that's handled by trusted sites, right? So hopefully you you know you've made your Google password pretty pretty secure. Maybe you even have you know the the um, the multi-step authentication, right? Um, you can make it as secure um, as you want, right? They give you some tools to do that. Um, and the other thing is is that you know like that's what other sites are doing, right? So I just pulled one off here. So so Pinterest, for instance, uh, lets you log in with email password, but also with Facebook or Google, right? I mean everyone's doing this here for good reason, right? Um, the other thing is, is this is Android dev, and if you have an Android phone, you pretty much have to have a Google account, right? So, so it's really no extra work, right, for your users, right? Um, so absolutely, we're gonna do it. Now, I am gonna mention here that uh, if you're using your phone on this, you'll be all set, you'll have Google Play services, uh, but if you're using an emulator, make sure that you set it up with an SDK that uses the Google APIs, right? Um, and once you have that, if you haven't done so already, then you'll need to add a Google account in the settings. All right, without that, you're not gonna be able to do this uh, authentication. All right, so uh, do that now if, if you haven't done that um, already, actually. All right, so um, assuming you have a Google account uh, on, your, on your device or, or emulator, it's super fast, right? So what are we doing here? Again, the same four steps that we did with um, that we did with with email password, right? Go to auth, go to sign in method, click on Google, enable, and click save, and you're done. Almost, right? There's one more thing. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on, uh, you know, sort of under the hood here. Um, and it used to be that we used to have to do a lot of setup uh, when Firebase was an independent service um, from Google. Uh, it turns out that it's way easier now, um, now that they're they're integrated. Um, but we do have to do a little bit more work, and that's um, just basically um, in Firebase we need to add a SHA-1 fingerprint, okay? Um, so they can do something with with um, with uh, an API key, all right? Um, so uh, you probably noticed that um, that there. Um, if you go to settings in general, right, and you look at at your different things here, um, you want to you want to be able to add a, a SHA-1, all right? So let's uh let's go there, all right? So I'm actually taking a look here. Sign in methods. I don't think it actually mentions it here at all. Um, so that's okay. So I'm going to go to project settings. And I have my app here. Right? And see, so I have a place where I can add my SHA-1. So you're probably wondering where does that come from? All right, so the next couple slides uh, walk you through a couple of options. Um, the first slide, and which I think is the easiest, is just to use Android Studio. So I'm gonna click on the Gradle tab over here on the right. And then um, I'm gonna open it up. Um, you'll notice that there's like, you know, there's a root one and then there's an app one. I'm gonna open up the one called Password Keeper, Tasks, Android, and then there's a thing here called a signing report. And if I right click that guy, I can run the, the signing report. And it is it is gonna generate, um, well, it's actually not generating. I should have a SHA-1 um, key um, here. In fact, here it is. So I go ahead and I grab this guy. Uh, and then I go into here and I can I can paste it in. Now you, you see I already have mine mine here, but yours you could you could, you know, if you if you actually if you were to do add, it gives you a place to add it, and then you'd have to you'd have to click save save um, to do that. Right? Um, which I'm not gonna worry about because I already have mine. Uh, all right, that is the quickest way to get it. Um, there are other ways um, on the command line that you can that you can use to do it. So here's the here's this way right here. Um, how did I find out how to do an Android Studio? I just looked that up in Stack Overflow. So you too can do that if you if you're if you're interested in any more details. 
Uh, and if you want to do it in the command line, um, there's ways to do it in Windows. It was a little bit a little bit wonky, but you're essentially you're running a key tool um, program um, to to run this guy. And you know it's probably easier on Mac and Linux because most things are from the command line. All right. That's it for setup. Like I say, a lot of stuff is going on under the hood here. Um, it's probably worth at least mentioning in case you needed to, to find things. Uh, so in Firebase, in your in your project, if you go under Settings Permissions, that's going to bring you to a, a, another place. So this um, this I, uh, Identity and Access Management here, um, and it, it's there's some stuff here with permissions and all sorts of fun stuff going on. Um, you don't have to touch any of this, right? So that that is the good thing. Uh, it's all kind of set up for you there. Um, it used to be totally different set, uh, totally different steps, but that's happening all for you under the hood. Okay, that's it. Uh, next time we're going to go ahead and enable Google Sign In from our app, right on the on the client side. All right, see you then. Mm -hmm.